Welcome back. Time for some 814 fun, or as I like to call it, 814 sips. Yeah, we're here with Dave Kiyama from Fine Wine and Good Spirits. And if you can't tell, we're geared up for some red, white, and blue cocktails just in time for July 4th. Dave, thanks for coming on. And thank you so much for having me. I even put on my red, white, and blue shirt. Looking we're sharp. just a couple of days away from all those fireworks, picnics, and of course, 4th of July cocktails. Countdown is on. Absolutely. First. We're going to jump into the first one. It's called Tito's Summer Sparkler. And what really anchors this cocktail is Tito's Vodka. Ooh. And Tito's Vodka is made in Austin, Texas. Texas. Exactly. And it's made from corn, unlike some other vodka. So this one's actually mm. gluten-free. So you have some issues with gluten, then yeah, that makes option. a big difference. Now, this is what we call a stratified cocktail. Ooh, okay? I'm so we're going to make a little bit of magic. I'm going to okay. move this out here so Tony can get yeah, a, I get make a sure. view of it. So it's going to look stacked. Exactly. So we're going to put one and a half ounces of Tito's Vodka two ounces of cranberry juice. Ooh. And then what we're gonna do is put in three ounces of sparkling water, which I'm just gonna put in very slowly. Now the sparkling water is light. The vodka and cranberry is a little bit heavier. Okay. And then we're gonna garnish the top with some blueberries, <gasps> which will float on the top. Gorgeous. And then you have red, white, and, and blue. blue. And it's that a Tito's a Summer Sparkler. Now yeah. here's one thing I want to caution you on. So it looks pretty right now. Yes. Unless you stir it, you're going to taste cranberry, yes. vodka, seltzer, and blueberry. Yes. So you have to stir it and it's okay. just going to become okay. all well, pink I'm gonna leave it pretty. at that point. I'm going to leave it pretty for this. Absolutely. I'll, ta I'll, I'll taste it at the end. <laughs> I'm sure Perfect. it'll be excellent, Dave. It's going to be pretty much a vodka and cranberry. Oh, love that. And also it's made with a vodka from America. Exactly. Exactly. What's next? So next we're going to do a blue moon margarita. And it starts out with one ounces of margarita, silver, margaritaville, silver tequila. Tequila. So this is a takeoff on Jimmy Buffett's margaritaville. <laughs> and so we're going to go ahead and add that into our shaker. We're going to add one half ounce of Bowles Blue Curacao. Ooh. And Blue Curacao is actually triple sec, but it's colored blue. blue. So it'll taste like orange. Exactly. Then yeah, we're going to put in. I attended back in the day. <laughs> Day, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> Half ounce of pineapple juice, four ounces of Daly's margarita mix. Okay. We're going to take and shake that up. You think that's a good margarita mix, Dave? Absolutely. Like that. Okay. Absolutely. And of course, I have rimmed the glass with a little bit of salt and garnished it with a lime wedge for you. Oh, that And there color. is your blue moon margarita. It takes you right to. Blue. I'm singing and I haven't even tried it. It's like you're right off the coast of Cancun with that one, huh? <laughs> wow, Look so beautiful. I'll have to get a little sip of this. Absolutely. Please. Mmm. Oh, perfect. And poolside for the July 4th Nothing occasion. Nothing would be better. Nothing, Nothing would, be, would better. be better. Except maybe this one. It might it's be. over here, Dave. So this is a white wine mojito. Mm. So if we've had mojitos before, mojitos are usually mint their lime, and then their rum. But yes. this is a little bit different. So I took a half a cup of mint, a uh, half an ounce of agave syrup to sweeten it up just a little bit. I put in a little bit of lime wedges, squeezed them in, and then I put in a whole bottle of yellowtail pinot grigio. Oh. So I call this a batch cocktail, and I'm, I'm going to explain this a little bit. So if you want to be able to attend to your guests, make this ahead of time. Then what you do when you're ready to serve it, you'll put in a cup and a half of seltzer. To give it a little fizz. A little fizz, a little spruce up Then there. you'll have ice on the side, which will keep it from being diluted. And now if we pour this in here, you'll have a mojito that's just a little bit yes. more lighter because it's made from wine I as opposed love to that. rum. And also, you know, you're not going to stand with every cocktail and have to muddle. Exactly. You know, you already have done it. Let's we've see. Done, we've done the muddling so you can enjoy. Oh. That is Isn't good. That fantastic? Really it, refreshing. You can taste the mint. You know, mmm. It's wow. minty. I, it's limey. It's what's got it called all one those, more time? It is called a white wine mojito. White wine mojito. Mm -hmm. Okay, and of course, what's over here? Yeah, so ultimately, <laughs> if you really want to check out and say, I'm not making any cocktails, <laughs> then you have these ready to drink cocktails. And we have a wide variety of them. You see the high noon seltzers. High noon seltzers oh. come in watermelon, mango, passion fruit, pineapple, wow. black cherry, and grapefruit. And then you also yeah, have things like just Jack a vodka Daniels. soda right here. Absolutely. That's perfect for the lake or, yeah, or something here. like that. Let's see what you think of this. 
I am. I okay. So I was saying during the break, I like a good white claw. And there you go. Okay, let's see. Well, the difference white claw is made from a uh, a malted product. This is made from vodka. I would vodka. say hands down better. Hands oh my down gosh. better. This is it, ladies. <laughs> Wow. Oh my gosh, only 100 calories and less than three carbs. You have sparkling <laughs> margaritas, you have Jack so Daniels, fun, whiskey and things. seltzer, and guess what? Throw them in a cooler, put some ice on it. You don't have to attend to the bar at all. I love that. Dave, we do always emphasize drink responsibly, yes, be safe, especially during the holiday. Don't mix drinking with fireworks. We know that. Yep. Uh, but if people want to get these recipes, check out all the fun. How do they do it? Yeah, please. They can go to finewineandgoodspirits.com. That's our website, or fwgs.com. And I also want to make sure that everybody knows if you have a fine wine and good spirits store in your area, and that store is normally open on Sunday, it is open on July 4th. So we are open for yeah. business, except in some of the very small stores okay. that don't have normal Sunday hours anyways. Okay, so if so you're a come procrastinator, see us. you know, <laughs> July 4th. can even get you on Independence they can, Day. They can still help you out. <laughs> Dave, always a pleasure having you on the show. Love your red, white, and blue <laughs> shirt and all these awesome cocktails. Can't wait to see you next month. It was my pleasure. Thank you. And we'll be back after a short break, so stay with us.